Legend Total War here, and today we've got a semi-disaster battle playing as the Empire going up against uh, Vlad. So, in this situation, the person who sent this in said that Vlad is basically a one-man doomstack, and that he just can't kill him. He, the rest of his army isn't the problem, he can take that out, but then Vlad is always left behind, and it's just too much, and he just can't get the army losses on him. And the thing is with Vlad, Vlad normally gets wiped out fairly early in the campaign, but if he manages to survive and get leveled up, he ends up with Blood Drinker and the Cast Iron Ring. Now, this combination makes him really deadly because he gets base 20% uh, ward save on that. Then he gets an extra 60 when he activates that. Uh, then he's like constantly regenerating. It's like double regen at 8 hit points per second. Makes him very difficult to kill, especially if he's got a very large health pool. So if you've got not a lot of missile units, so he's about half of his army, so... That's, that's a lot, but at the same time, more than half of our army is actually going to be melee infantry here. Um, it's not necessarily enough to beat Vlad and the army, so we have to choose between defeating his army or defeating Vlad. Anyway, let's just jump into the battle here and see what we can do. I'm definitely going to control large armies. I think that would be the right call. That means these guys here will be uh, deployed at the start, because I counted how many units that the enemy have. It was 23. So, denying three of their units at the start's not going to matter, especially because I'm going to try and snipe their troops immediately, so they're all going to show up either way. What we want to do is try to get these Var guys to get angry at the, um, at the Outriders, come at us, so we can take them out ahead of the rest of their troops. Okay, uh, let's see, how far back do we want to go? This position here is pretty bad, like, big hill in the way there. No, that's, that's not good. This one here is a little bit better. I guess I could go there. It's not ideal, though. Alright. Doesn't really matter what order we put any of the units in. Yeah, it's just... Anyway, the... um, Yeah, that's fine. The, the swordsmen are in the center, anyway. Things are probably going to be a mess right off the get-go, as soon as we start. Uh, these wizards here are not overly useful because... I just still I think the fire one is going to be useful for sure but the um, yeah we didn't need two wizards and they don't really complement each other really well because he's gone with like two he's gone with destructive magic and fire magic is just better than than heaven's magic in this case here so if you want to go two wizards then you need two like complementary wizards, so maybe fire and life. So you have one for um, dishing out damage and one for healing. But two different laws of magic that do the exact same thing. Um, that's just a waste of a unit in the army. Unless you're training it up, which is fine. Um, because they're on horses here and these are faster, I'm not going to be able to just whiz around them to burn Isabella's army. So that's going to suck. Uh, we could hide our troops. No, I don't think that's going to work in this situation here, because I need to use my army to get rid of these, and then there's not going to be enough time to hide gonna try to get oh hang on let's have a look at Vlad's abilities here Vlad has got uh, let's see let's see let's see let's see yeah he's got yeah he's got this one here storm of the night he's got three uses of that that's gonna be really bad for Carl Franz because it's does a lot of damage to him but if we can get him to activate it fairly early that could be good 150 meters okay I'm gonna try to get him to activate it early and try to dodge it, because I do have a potion of speed, I might be able to dodge it. Uh, it's not going to be ideal here, I have to move pretty quick. Okay. I know I could have Vanguard deployed with them, but I just wanted a few more seconds. So we get in within range there, so that Vlad uses it. And make those Vargeists angry. And that he didn't seem to do it. Instead, just using a gaze of Nagash. Anyway, we've got their attention. Let's bring them over here. Okay, while this is going on, let's try to close up some of these gaps. Maybe I'll move a little bit more over this way. That's it. If we can get the Blood Knights over here as well, that's good. The slope is not ideal, but... Sometimes you just don't get ideal terrain. Okay, we got to re get rid of all of their fast units. Then I can send the fire wizard over here to go burn shit. Okay, that's it. You pin them down. 
You guys get over this way. Okay. Okay. Are they still going after this? That's okay, that's okay. Just keep running. Keep running as best you can. Carl Franz is doing just fine there. I think this is doing pretty well so far. Yep, just... Keep them away. Good. Carl Franz is doing stuff. We could use this, but it's, just, it's not a defensive ability. It's an offensive ability. Just don't really need it. Watch out. We got Blood Knights over here. Good, good. Like I said, we just want to keep them distracted as possible. Watch out. We're coming over this way. Shoot them. Try to draw them. Draw them away. Good, 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 good. Make sure we keep shooting that. Carl Franz is taking a bit of damage, but he's okay. That's it. That's it. That's what we want to see. Get them to be unsure about what they should be attacking. Carl Franz is doing a great job tanking that. Come on, come on. Move, 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 move. That's it. This guy's just so confused. All right. We need them now to shoot this. That's it. That's, that's it. If it, the Blood Knights here could do no damage, to us, that's great. Okay, okay. Oh, we've got uh, wolves coming in. Good blood knights. Oh, they kind of touched us a little bit there, but we're okay. Okay, I need to use some magic on these skelly boys over here. Come on, move, 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 move. Good, shot your own troops. Fantastic. All right, um, Carl Franz, I'm going to have you run around over here. No one else can get you now that they don't have any flying units, but Vlad can still pop down the Storm of the Night thing, and that wouldn't be good. Okay, now you. You're going to whiz around over this way. You're going after... Mm, they're not really in easy to kill formation there. Cool. Blood Knight's only got four kills. Cool, 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 cool. Right, stop shooting. Stop shooting. Get over there. Now, get these to come around over here. You lot, stop shooting. You're dead. Okay, cool. What's, what's Vlad doing? Okay, he's doing his thing. Move, move, move. I know he's not he's doing that. Okay, you're going to have to get out of here. You're too badly damaged. He's just going to keep shooting you. I know he doesn't have a lot of Winds of Magic, but... <sighs> so hopefully that does some damage. Okay, got to get these... Out over here. Come on, reform up. We need to be shooting at these... Oh, fuck me, what happened with that? Need to be shooting at these damn Ogres. Yeah, it did a bit of damage, not tons. I'll get Carl Franz to come around the back here and just keep the zombies busy. Now, we don't want to be dishing out damage to Vlad. We want the army losses to do it for us, ideally. Okay, we've got to shoot at Ogres. So how do we go with that? 51 kills? Yeah, that's not a lot. Okay. Um, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. We got we got Direwolves in coming here. They're faster than... Okay, shoot them. Get rid of that. Cool, once we get rid of all their fast units, we'll be home free. Hopefully Vlad will go around the back there. Uh, there's a vampire there that we should probably get rid of with guns. Well, we'll work on that. Okay, we can spread out a little bit more. Okay, more guys over here. Okay, Celestial Wizard. No, don't worry about that right now. These are crumbling. Let's just try to break them. Okay, that's it. That's it. We got the zombies busy over here. Let's get this over here because we don't want to waste ammunition on zombies best thing to deal with them is uh, with um, magic it's just kind of cheaper okay okay there's Isabella okay I want to get Vlad and Isabella chasing after our wizard don't want them getting into combat come, come after me come after me Okay, we're, we're in a bit of a mess over here. We're okay. Okay, need to go burn those. Uh, Carl Franz will last there for ages. Alright, I need to be shooting at... Yeah, 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 whatever. Just shooting at uh, Ogres. Anything that's high value. Don't worry too much about their scaly boys. Um, and don't worry too much about Vlad. Move back. Okay, we still got a decent amount of wins. Yeah, you just stay there, keep the leadership in order. But we don't want to stay close to Vlad because he's got that anti-air ability. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Stop shooting at that. Alright, let's see here. Uh, too many spearmen in there. 
Uh, but we're kind of beating them here. Maybe shoot it, shoot into this one here. Just lure them out. It's good that Vlad is busy here. That way he's not dishing out. We could shoot at him, but if we're going to do that, we should say wait until the end of the battle. Don't do it right now. Just keep him distracted for now because he'll just regenerate too quickly. Could have used Flamestorm there, but I feel like uh, Burning Head would have been better. Maybe. Okay, there's also a vampire in here that we got to get rid of. Okay, just keep moving back. Yeah, just keep him distracted. Don't move too back. I could put them on skirmish mode, actually. Okay, move back. All right, you get into the fight. Okay, we, now we need to uh, be shooting Isabella up a, a bit. He's actually losing. I've got that potion of speed. Okay, I need to be... Yeah, I guess I need to shoot. These fucking heroes is going to be a hard... Task. Yeah, just okay. That's good. I am a pyromancer. And then I need to get. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Shoot Isabella here. Yeah. No, actually, shoot this one. It's, she's larger. She'll be easier to hit. That's it. Just keep them busy. All right, those zombies are just about gone. That's it, just keep Vlad distracted. We got the bounce of power in our favor, but we can still lose this. Yeah, you can fight that, that's fine. Okay, yeah, okay, you, you come back over here. Yeah, yeah, that, that's actually going really well there. Like I said, don't shoot because we're just going to waste our ammo there at the moment. Um, this one here is just about gone. I actually would have preferred if the guns were here, but they're doing something more important at the moment. Uh, Isabella's doing a lot of damage to us here, but I can't do that much about it just yet. Uh, maybe try to get this one out of there, because I don't want to get it wiped out. Let's get somebody else to hold onto it. Okay, cool, that one's dead. Okay, let's try to shoot Isabella. Okay, I think I'll just save up my magic for the time being. I know that that would have been useful over here, but at the same time, I just couldn't keep him close to Vlad. It's kind of weird having... Arguably our strongest unit take out their weakest, but it's just about type advantage. Okay, this is, this is working out pretty well here. Let's see, get rid of... And there's the army losses, that's what we wanted to do. Just have Vlad not engage with our main army. We just dished out too much damage without them dishing out any damage. This is why I wasn't shooting at anything. I didn't want these guys to lose their bounce of power on something that was just going to regenerate. Okay, now Vlad's not done yet because he he's regenerating faster than he's actually... <laughs> oh god. Okay, I think he just got the cast iron ring on there. So now we just we wait until that's over before we shoot at him. Um, everybody else, just avoid Vlad. Just run away somehow. <laughs> okay, maybe fireball him as well. That could knock him down. Just wait till the cast iron ring is over before shooting. Otherwise, it's just a waste of ammo. Uh, keep Carl Franz away. Here we go. And at minus 57, he should get disintegrate. If he stays there for long enough. Yep, he's disintegrated. Alright, cool. Don't worry about it. He's finished. Close victory, but we didn't take that much damage. It was mostly just the melee infantry there. But yeah, I can totally understand why this guy had a hard time. It probably just came, came down to um, prioritizing particular units, like taking out the... Um, we took out a lot of their bounce of power really early. Like, none of these Var guys here did any kills. That one got four kills. Like, that's a lot of their bounce of power to lose right at the start. It just puts a nail in their coffin. So if you have a look at the actual damage dealt out by them, it's... They did that to Car France. They did a little bit. Um, but now he's got regen because we've defeated Isabella. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you need the money. Ugh. <laughs> the vampires have already destroyed the empire pretty much. Yeah, you don't get much time to deal with them before they, they cause you all kinds of imperial authority. Alright, everyone, time to guess what the negative imperial authority is. I'm going to guess at negative four. That's what I think it might be. Because <laughs> let's see. 
Uh, oh, the Ostermark is still around. Oslin is still around. Uh, Sterland is gone. Averland is still around. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe more like... You know what? I, it might actually... You know, he's confederated Middenland. Nordland is gone. Oh, uh, I'm gonna guess at like minus... Minus two. I mean, it's... Let's see. Missenland is still there. Taylor Backland's gone. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, no, they're gone. Oh, there is that one. Okay, we'll hang it on to some Imperial Authority. I guess that's pretty good. Um. Oh, we're not done yet, are we? Oh, yeah, because um, Hockland has been reduced to just one settlement. So you kind of need to stop them from getting destroyed or we'll lose uh, Imperial Authority. So money's a bit tight. Prestige is probably the way to go. Luckily, it's an order resolve, so they weren't going to be taken out that easily. So that's good. No artillery. I was going to say, you shouldn't be besieging settlements. You should just assault as soon as you can. But yeah, if you don't have artillery, you know, what can you do? Ugh. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, at least you've got regen now on Karl Franz. That's really going to help quite a lot. And... Isabella's still around. Definitely you should finish them off. And you got Gotrick as well. Cool, that'll help keep the supply lines down. You should probably use him. Uh, you got incoming over here. Ooh, man. Yeah. I mean, you, you can manage. It is a bit of a disaster campaign, but this is pretty standard for Reichland. It's only turn 56 as well. So this is pretty standard that they do this. Oh, that is unusual. That's very unusual. They... Oh, okay, I tell you what it must have happened. Um, Clan Gridus must have wiped them out. And these guys have a tendency of just going to the nearest ruin to go and occupy it. To just try and survive. But yeah, you're overrun with vampires. Yeah, losing that battle there would have been an absolute catastrophe for you. I understand that. Alright. And... You know... I probably... You gotta start getting some artillery up in here. I mean, you're at tier 4, you've got to get some artillery. Because you can't be wasting time besieging settlements. You've got to, you've got to move quickly. They've got more armies than you, you've got to move quicker. Let me have a look at the bounce power. Oh, that's not too bad. Well, the Von Karstens are finished off. Okay. Your coming is ill-starred. Speak briefly, then remove... Nah, they're not going to help. Long have my people hunted yours for sport. No. Alright, well... At least that battle's over. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Remember, if you're up against a lord that is too difficult to take out with, like, overwhelming fire, um, it's better to have that lord be distracted doing something that it can't catch. So this is oftentimes what I do when I encounter Luther Harkon. Rather than focus all guns on Luther Harkon, I would have one unit get his attention and then just lure him away, deal with his army, and then... Once that's dealt with, then deal with Luther Harkon. There are a couple of lords in the game that the AI tend to build up super strong, and it's best not to just try to general snipe, and instead destroy their army to defeat their general. Because otherwise, if you put too much effort into destroying someone like Vlad, who's got 80% damage resistance, it's just buying time for their army to close in and wipe out your troops. So you've got to take out the stuff that's going to dish out damage to you. Because a lot of these lords here, while they might be super high in terms of damage resistance, their actual damage output isn't that high, especially if they're a melee lord like Vlad. Vlad can only kill at, su at you know such a rate, whereas you've got a lot of killing power behind your missile units, you've got to take out all of the Vargas that are trying to shred up all your units. Anyway, that's the end of this one here. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.